Hello everybody, welcome back to my game review. It's been a while since I've talked about my original Xbox One console that I bought a little while ago. Um, even though this thing came... I mean, it actually looks really nice, you know. Um, I cleaned it, and I tried to replace the hard drive. That didn't go well. But I don't really think I have a hard drive issue. Maybe I'm just... <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Um, maybe the buzzing sound is just the fan, maybe. I don't know what it was, but... Um, this is my original Xbox, my original Xbox One, not my original, um, but I really, I really do like this console. This is the big blue Xbox One uh, limited edition Forza Horizon that I showed off a while ago, um, and I talked about Xbox a couple of times on my channel. Now the majority of my videos are usually about PlayStation, or I do like a, rev a review, or I talk about like a game or something. I talk a lot about PlayStation 2, PlayStation 4, I talk a lot about PlayStation in general. I mean, look at this right here. I have a PlayStation hat sitting right next to my Xbox and my TV. Now, I had my PlayStation 4 hooked up, and then I decided to hook up my Xbox One original. Because I wanted to play some old school games on my Xbox. And it got me thinking about something. It's like, well... I kind of was getting bored of my PS4 a little bit because I just kind of play the same games over and over again on PlayStation 4. And even when I buy new games for my PS4, I still find myself getting bored. But the cool thing with the Xbox One and the Xbox Series is that you can play original classic Xbox games, you can play 360 games, and it makes the system even better. You know, and I talked, I talked about this in the past. One of the big positives about owning an Xbox is that it can play all these games going back to the past, going back to the original Xbox in the PlayStation 2 era. Games like GTA San Andreas, the old school style Battlefront games, and so on. And I hooked up my Xbox to play some backwards compatible games. And honestly, I think that this console was worth buying, even though I've never been the biggest fan of, of you know, the Xbox and all that, um, you know, obviously. But as somebody who loves PlayStation, I really wish that Sony would do backwards compatibility with PS3, PS2, PS1. Why can't the PlayStation 4 play PS2 and PS1 games and PS3 games? Why can't the PS5, you know? Um, apparently, they are working on PS5 backwards compatibility with everything, um, but I'm not really sure if it's going to be as good as Xbox has it, because, you know, on the Xbox, when backwards compatibility came out for the Xbox One, you know, you had you had just an amazing library of great, fantastic 360 plus original Xbox games that make the experience even better. And the cool thing with owning an Xbox One or an Xbox Series S or X, is that technically it doesn't have to be a, you know, 8th or ninth generation console. You could just turn this into a 360. You can make it into an original Xbox if you want to, because there's, there's a whole bunch of original Xbox games, 360 games. My original Xbox is basically just a 360. My original Xbox One is basically a 360 because the majority of my games I own on my Xbox are just 360 games. And I have I have a blast playing these fantastic games. And that's one of the things that makes these Xbox consoles so cool and 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 good to have because you can play all of your games, your entire library going back to the original, the OG Xbox and the PlayStation 2 era. Which is really amazing, it's really fantastic, it's really cool. And I definitely have to give Xbox props for that. Now, even though I like PlayStation and Nintendo and all that stuff, I like all consoles. You know, I, I have a Nintendo Wii, I have PlayStation, I have Xbox, I have, I have a whole bunch of consoles. So, I'm always conflicted on what I like better, you know, because I own all these systems. It's really hard to... I mean, well, my favorite is PlayStation 2, obviously. I've made a lot of videos on PlayStation 2. But 
I do enjoy the Xbox One. Um, I do enjoy these systems. And if you're looking for a console that plays a whole bunch of classic retro 360 and original Xbox games, this is perfect. I mean, this is all you need. You know, you don't even need a Series S or an X. You can just buy an Xbox One original and use it just for the backwards compatibility, and it would be an amazing experience playing these classic old games using a more modern Xbox One controller. And it's just, it's just a really great experience. It's really fantastic. And the one thing that Xbox will always have over PlayStation is the backwards compatibility. <laughs> I mean, it's a really... It's a really big deal for me because it's like I love old school games. I love being able to play games from my childhood. And the Xbox allows me to play a whole bunch of games like Fallout New Vegas. I can play Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, the original Black Ops games. I can play the old school Halo games. I can I could play um Conquer's Bad Full Day on the Xbox console. That came out from the original Xbox. But anyway, I'm in the... I'm in... Sorry. I'm in the video. Just want to make a quick Xbox video. But, you know, it is a really amazing console. <clears throat> this might just be... This might just be... Um, the video could be called, I guess... The Xbox One is amazing. <laughs> um, I still like PlayStation, obviously. I own three PS4s. I have two PS3s. I have full PlayStation 2 systems, so clearly I love PlayStation. I only have one Xbox, but, and I actually sold my Xbox One in the past. I also gave my sister my Xbox One All Digital Edition, um, but buying this Xbox, I bought it for backwards compatibility. I really missed the backwards compatibility. And that's really the only reason why I use Xbox, is for the backwards compatibility. And you know what? That's fine, that's okay with me, you know? I would I would honestly buy Xbox just for backwards compatibility. I mean, it's, it's perfect for this, you know? And it's one of the best decisions, I would say, Microsoft made with the Xbox One, was bringing backwards compatibility. It was awesome, it was great, and I use my Xbox... Pretty much only for old school games because I am a retro gamer and the Xbox allows me to play all these fantastic games from my childhood. But anyway, I'm in the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section below with Xbox backwards compatibility and do you use your Xbox One um, or Xbox Series S or X for backwards compatibility with like 360 original Xbox games? Also, tell me in the comment section below what is your favorite classic game to play on the Xbox. But anyway, peace out.